Your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. It's a TGIF Friday, folks. Let's make it a great one. We have the Dow down 61. NASDAQ is out flat. S&Ps are off four. You get the gold down a buck. Silver's uh, off nine cents. Platinum's up four. We got, uh, let's see, King Dollar. King Dollar, you know, uh, get back to that December 12th breakout area. Rejected. Lower volume yesterday. He's going to build some cars. Yeah. Going to blow some mines. King Dollar was on the move. Yeah, yeah. Euro yeah. is at 131. And, um, you know, bottom line is that that market not holding yesterday was a big deal, you know. And, and, but it, it was. It, it was. It was. It, that, that was a big deal, and I mentioned it during the show because you, you kind of alert you, you did. You alerted everybody to it on Monday when we came into trading because it was a celebration of the Chinese New Year. Right. So the Year of the Dragon. Right. And what you were saying is, you know, folks, be careful out here because, you know, after they've been closed for a week. Yeah. And now we're talking the Shanghai. Right. You know, because the uh, Hang Seng had uh, opened back up on uh, yesterday. Yes. Okay. And it uh, didn't, didn't do much, uh, you know, up 60 points. Yeah, look and at that. Uh, uh, but the uh, you know if so if you've got Europe closes lower you know we'll know going into Basel show at eleven thirty you know where Europe closes and you've got the DAX is down thirty points right now and then if our markets continue to roll and you've got the uh, you know Shanghai that had been closed for a week and, and and there's a lot of other telling signs that are out there you know when you take a look at those butterfly patterns that are just all over the place. Yeah, the divergence was cocoons, that. Cocoons have come out. The butterflies are ready to... Yeah, I love it. The cocoons have come out. Yeah. <laughs> totally. You know, do you, do you remember the, the picture with uh, the people in the cocoons in the water? I forget the name of that picture. This oh, is, the movie? That movie? Yeah, yeah. that was a great uh, picture. Somebody in the den will tell us. Every, I, I, everyone got uh, young. All yeah, the other right, people right, got young. Right, I love yeah, that movie. Yeah, yeah, Whatever, yeah, I forget yeah. what that was. Yeah. That, that was an absolute... That was a while ago. Yeah. That was 30 years ago. Was it? I think so. Cocoon? Oh, it's called Cocoon. Was it called that? Cocoon? Okay, okay. Oh, man. If you haven't seen that, folks, see that yeah, movie. That yeah. is a dynamite movie. In fact, yeah. I think I'm going to watch that movie over the weekend. Okay, good. Yeah. I you know what? It. No, you know what it is. That some of these movies—they're self-empowering movies, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's no doubt about it, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot totally. of them out there. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, you know, this is going to get wild. I mean, because the what you what, what you have what you also have here, too, folks, is this. Now, watch this. When um, when I was just coming in into the studio, I said to Steve, you know, I says, you know, yesterday, of course, you know, I'm, I'm saying, you know, to you folks out here that the bulls had it, you know, they blew it. And I, as soon as I walked in, I says, man, the bears are blowing it, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, absolutely. They had, they had the, right. fir they had the right. first shot at the open, right? Yeah. And, you know, they basically didn't take it. Now, they just took another shot at it, though. Yeah. You know, so it's going to get interesting here because what you do have, uh, those two shots were really fast volatility. Yeah. And that's, that's what, you know, unfortunately, that's... That's how markets move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now um, the first one, what, what, what piece of information did they, re they release today at 8.30? Do you, they, do you recall? What, well, they it, had uh, the GDP come out. That and, was it? And that was a little uh, lower than what folks okay. thought. Okay. That's so all. They, they expanded uh, fourth quarter. They're saying that consumers curb spending, government agencies kick back. Uh, validating, you know, the Fed's decision that uh, interest oh, yeah. rates are going to stay I at zero. With, uh, I thought, uh, you know... You know uh, what it was a Black Friday and Cyber Monday and everything else and life was great. It is. We're going forward, man. They're all out of their mind. They, you know, yeah. it cracks me up. I'm not kidding, folks. The the things that they how they analyze things. I mean, you got to remember something. They, they're great writers. They're great students of English, and they they take something and you know. Uh, bottom line, write it up quick. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, it, it, no, for it, sure, for you, sure. You better sure. understand, folks, you know, a lot of the things that you're reading, that's what that is. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're, they're discipline-wise, no two ways about it. They they understand the English language, and they're, they're very fast writers, but yeah. that's it. Yeah. As to, as to what is moving markets, not even close. Yeah. You know? So, so you know, yesterday with the, with the market not holding, you know, the way that right. like you were saying, that was a, that was a pretty big signal out there. Yeah, no, and, no. And, it, and especially for those folks that are, you know, the, if 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 this were the start of QE three, it hasn't started like QE two did. No. That's for sure. No, you know, I mean, no. the market never looked back. No, well, and you know, what's kind of interesting is that that's that's what I was thinking too. I said, you know what, it, it, the way markets are, folks, they're they're the same and not the same. You know, so it's not going to be that easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it, it would make sense. It would make sense. Okay, they got it. Okay, bye. Well, you know what? You know that 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 no doubt worked. There's no two ways about it. Right. Now look at look at this chart, folks. What I have up right here. This is so clean. It's amazing. I have a weekly of the SPY, 
And what I want you to understand is just, you know, what you're really looking at. So, and, so that's cool that, you, that you're doing that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And, and, and what you're looking at here is that you're looking at the total breakdown, um, you know, in August. Monster volume, 2.2 billion, uh, and then uh, 2.8 billion. And if we go back up on 500 million. That, folks, that ain't even close. Yeah. I mean, there's not even, to me, that's not even, we're going downtown. Okay, that I can tell you something from looking at. I have no idea whether it's a million, two million shots. I have no idea. I mean, who knows after so many years, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But I can tell you what. Okay, those lows are getting tested. Yeah. There's no way that that's like Tom Thumb sticking yeah, out yeah, there, yeah, 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 and he's yeah, sticking yeah, out. Yeah. And he's screaming. Yeah. He's screaming. He needs some company down there. He, that's that's the good old hangout. That's I and Eight Street in South Boston that I we go it. back to all the time. No, totally. I, no, I love. So I, I love that trend line that you that you drew there and then you sh you know you show the bust out from the volume right. standpoint and so the trend line that i was showing was this descending tops coming all the way back from the highs oh, from 2007 wow from 2007 oh isn't that pretty okay and how this week all we did was we just went up into it i mean that's, Look that's all pretty that that's is. all that we did i gotta do yeah. that one too so you know so, so oh we need, so, a, we need a double bang you know, so on i'm this. on the spx you know versus the spy but that's I, all right the same thing watch and this so, you know, it's like, oh, look, look at that. Look, oh, folks, yeah. watch so it. In that case, Sarah, and I know on the spy, it had just gotten just above it. Watch but it's just a false is. break, no volume. Oh, my God, that's pretty. Oh, my God. Yeah, look at I how know, pretty that is. Know, know, Get the drafting tools out, baby. Know. <laughs> that's a, okay. It is great because there, there, are, there are ways, you know, for folks that are just trying to understand, you know, technical trading or whatever. There's some, some very simple things that, that we can teach with regard to trend lines and so forth. That for sure. Yeah. Now, and, and in this context, folks, you're looking at this triangle, right? Now, if you go to a classic Edwards and McGee deal, okay, you, if you didn't do volume inside it, you'd be saying, okay, you know, we almost have a valid break top side, okay? That's, yeah. that's a nice flag pattern, and you could say that. Right, right. What right, I want right. you to understand, folks, real cle clearly here, is that when you break, um, now, now what's really cool here is this. When you go to the very end of the triangle, and you're this close to it, yeah. what does happen is that that's, the break's going to go one way or the other. Right, right, right. What right, I've right. found flat out, you break that, which we did, just by a spec, right. and it has no volume, yeah. that's a false break top side, and you're going right. to get killed. Right, right, right. And, and, and it's so cool, because if you get the break, so check this out, that's, that's, that's one rule. Yeah. If you get the break, though, prior to the end, yeah. what ends up happening is that, let's say if that broke down prior to the end, well, just like it did, did right it, there, yeah, yeah, that's sure. a false break downtown. Yeah, okay. Got because it, you, it, you didn't it, get to it. the end of the, yeah. the deal, and then it normally flips around the other side. Yeah. Isn't that wild, yeah, man? Yeah, 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 no. Look how pretty that is. I know, I know. That's, that's amazing. Know. That, that, that really is. Yes, it is. Pretty in pink. Let's go to uh, John in Philly. Hey, John, what's going on? Good morning, Tommy and Steve. How are you guys? Mm. Doing great, thank you. Doing Excellent. good, man. You having a good day out there? Excellent day, Tommy. Cool, Listen, man. you guys are always having a good day. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> so, uh, Tommy, I have no position in CRR, Charlie Richard Richard. Okay. It got smacked hard yesterday on earnings. You look at the daily huge volume coming out of it. Yeah. I'm wondering if you could pull up the weekly and the monthly on that, Tommy. We're near the end of the month, end of the week. Yeah. So you get to see the, uh, the monthly, weekly volume. And given that, can you kind of tell me where you see this thing headed? You know, not necessarily today, tomorrow. No, I'm with you. Let's take a look at it. You get Cabo Ceramics, okay? They supply ceramic uh, to the oil and gas industry. The lows, 90. The highs, a buck 80. They make five bucks. Okay, so let's bring this back Oof. to 0, 0, 08. We'll put it on a weekly. Oh, yeah, that's toast. <laughs> I know. I, that's volume. Okay, so watch like, this, folks. Oh okay, God. You get two different things. <laughs> now, now when, I, when I look at this, the, the, the way you always you know, do it, folks, you just go right to the bottom first. And you can see, you know, at, at 169, it had the juice, 6.7 million. It goes all the way up to 180 with 1.7. So what, you want to do the percentages-wise on these because that's, that's how you can tell exactly how far, what kind of a correction you're going to get. Okay. So in this case, you know, the correlation... And your formula would be the 6.7 million versus the 1.7. Okay, then it gets croaked, right? Okay, goes from a buck eighty straight down to a hundred to ninety to ninety bucks. Yeah, takes an ABC down. Right, you do the counter trend bounce up, 
no juice. Now, now you're, you're hammering this baby with volume. And that tells me that the whole thing's good. There's nothing to stop this, John, all the way down to 70, uh, 78. You know what I mean? It's just like that three-family house. You know what I mean? You're yeah, in the middle yeah. of that staircase right there. Once it, once it, it's got to break through 9041. Once it breaks through 9041, then, you know. You know, tell me, uh, obviously, you pull, I'm looking at your weekly chart, huge volume this week. Yeah. But we haven't yet gotten to that October low of 90 bucks. Question is, a question I've got for you, under what conditions, you know, uh, price action and volume going into that, might you speculate that might hold or yeah, no, no, that's a great that, way? That, that's right. Now, I understand what you're saying. And, and what does happen is this, folks, okay? What John's saying, and, and I do like to see this. I love seeing this in the metal stocks when it happens, right? If the volume comes out before the swing point, yeah. right? It's huge. Yeah. Because let, let's say, you know, it, you know, right now, there's no doubt at the you know, you've only got to 117, right? And that bottom there is the 90... 41. So what happens there is that if you hit it next week, it contracts dramatically. Then all that does, though, just so you understand, is that that would set up a consolidation. I you know, think. what you have to take into consideration is that when you get this far deep into that staircase, yeah. just a natural deal is where the last time you had the volume and, and where I, you can see where I'm bringing you back to. I'm bringing you back to that April 30th of 2010 area. Right. And it's just because there's so much money that has been lost so quick yeah. from January of 2011. I mean, it's, you know. And so today's going to give you a piece of information, John, because you're, you're trading. You, you already hit the October 4th swing point on the daily, which only has 1.4 million shares. And you've already done, five, I think, about 550,000 shares today, 556,000 shares. And you've only been open for 45 minutes. So it looks like it's got the volume coming into that swing point. And so the next piece of information that's going to be released to you is down at the bottom there at 9041. Thanks for that review, and keep up the good work, guys. Cooking, brother. Have a night. great one, man. Have a safe one. That's our man, Z from the Den. I love it. Zara! I love it. Oh, I love it. We're going to be right back, good. folks. <laughs> X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has $50 million in its treasury, having spent over $60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year-end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story Gold Mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective and maximize your returns. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing the perspective. 
prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of The Money Game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look, fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to a hundred dollars let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days go to the home page of tfnn.com and click on my name steve rhodes for your 30-day risk-free trial you are born to be a money master and i'll teach you how Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? I'm Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Isn't that crazy? Man. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. And don't forget, folks, if you do enjoy the program, please tell three people. And tell them about Tiger TV. And tell them they better get their darts out there. They can throw their darts at us and they'll bounce <laughs> off their TV. Uh, we have the Dow right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, she's down 55. NASDAQ, uh, the composite's up three. You get the uh, S&Ps uh, down three. Uh, bottom line is that they're, it, it, which is intriguing, the NASDAQ's holding hold its own. But what you do have, the two strongest stocks in the NASDAQ 100 are both dead cat bounces. First Solar, Green Mountain, Seagate's all right, uh, Clark is all right. Uh, so we'll see uh, where that shakes and bakes. Uh, let's go to, uh, we get Bill in uh, Bel Air, Florida. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Good morning, guys. Uh, my question is about Starbucks. You know, with them introducing the alcohol and so forth, I know near your office there's a Starbucks, and I went around to some other Starbucks. And, you know, towards the evening they, they do tend to fizzle off uh, a bit, but I think they've got such an established uh, crowd, and it's really established as, uh, in, 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 um, how do I put this, a lot of single people I, I know meet. Uh, sure, they do. When yeah. they meet somebody, they... they you know, as a destination point, they'll oh, meet me at Starbucks. Yeah. So it's kind of in between that going out to dinner or going to the club, if they even exist anymore. Starbucks is just really established as a as a social place. Absolutely. What's your feeling on the the alcohol thing? I you know I can't so you can get alcohol at Starbucks now. now they start, going they, to they, be they able didn't to. tell me that. Yeah. You're yeah. going to be able to. They're, they're wanting to introduce uh, the alcohol. Yeah, so I'm put looking a at a 25 percent increase. You mean something other than cinnamon spice in your coffee? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. I, 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 I know it. I know it. I know Tom's going to be down at Starbucks now. Yeah, as long as they get some Zambuca. That's right. Um, <laughs> is it going to make a huge difference? I don't think uh, the thing will fly in the context of how Starbucks is set up right now. You know, because the, the folks that Go to Starbucks that hang out there, uh, not drinkers. Not, you know, so now how are they going to get the drinking crowd? You know, well, I mean, you know, I just think some people might linger longer, and other people that are Starbucks people, the, 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 their friends that are drinkers that have to have the alcohol, will uh, trickle over there. Yeah, I don't it's see it. It's just so well established, and then there's so few other places to, uh, you know, you have the sports bar scene, and a lot of people don't want to do that. Why not? It, <laughs> well, you know, the, the women and so forth, it's just, I don't know, it's just not in, it's not popular anymore. 
you have a, a more of an eclectic Man, crowd. Man, I, I, I got to give you a couple sports bars, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even Frenchton Hooters. A lot of the guys I know used to go there. They don't go there anymore. They, they're just kind of burned out. Hooters used to be very popular. Oh, and now Hooters! It's not Forget as popular. it. Hooters. Yeah, it, it, it's popular. You're just too old now. <laughs> <laughs> So you don't think the uh, alcohol is going to make it much difference in the stock price? No, listen, I love Starbucks, but I, that's right. I don't think it's going to make a difference in the stock price at this point. What I do envision they will do is this, is that they understand, and they're really in the real estate business, too. When we talk about what business you're Absolutely. in, okay? They're in the real estate business. They have the corners tied up across the world, okay? Yeah, I agree on that. Absolutely. I expect what they will do is that they'll change the concept, right? And they will have some stores that are basically set up, you know, with good draft beer. Um, and that concept will work. You know what I mean? You know, you brought up an interesting point about Starbucks people don't tend to be drinkers. And that's, a, you know, kind of a broad uh, a generalization. But yeah, I think is. you're right. And, and those people that I see a lot of times, those people in Starbucks, I don't think you're going to put up with the sports bar, forgive me now, the sports bar mentality type guy, and it might actually decrease business in Starbucks by having a, uh, a borderline inebriated uh, patrons. Yeah, no, around. no, I, listen, I, listen I'm, I'm, I'm on both sides. I love coffee and I love beer, okay? So I'm, I'm, in, <laughs> I'm out there, and I just can't picture myself sitting in there having a beer. I would much rather, I like, I like sitting in a bar. I like sitting in a bar, watching the TV, watching the sports. And... You know, that just happens to be, and you know, that's different times of the day. And, and, mm -hmm. But I could picture myself, yeah. you know what I mean? If they get that thing set up right, you walk in, I got 8,000 TVs, good, you know what I mean? I'd go watch the Patriots, uh, the, you know, the Bruins, are, you know, you know what I'm saying? I just meet someone in Groove, you no, know what I mean? No, no, what Bill. if we had 8,000 TVs with a NASDAQ going at one time? Well, I, I already have that. <laughs> you should see our production. You know, we got a new production studio, and oh my God, if you, you walk into this, man, these, these two guys in here... They, they, they look like they're going to take off like a spaceship. They do. That's great. That's great. Well, you guys have a great day. Great show. Thank you, too, man. Thanks. Have a great Thanks. one. Have a safe one. Hey, you know, um, over in Hawaii, they make a uh, coffee-flavored beer. Do they? They do, yeah. i got to get you some. But wow. that, 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 uh, we got to find that, that company needs to do a deal with Starbucks. Yeah. No, that, that would make sense. Yeah. Well, did, you know who just did a deal with them? Now, this is going to be wild. Is that Taco Bell just did a deal with them. That, that, that's Yum Brands. They're going okay. to start serving Starbucks. A breakfast in Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. really? Yesterday, yeah. Oh, how about that? Yeah. How about that? Steve yeah. Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all you tigers and tigresses growling and prowling out here. You stay right with us, folks. Uh, we have the Dow down 51, Nasdaq's up 5, S&P's uh, flat. We're going to be right back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on lighter volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become 
a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley of Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of The Money Game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You are born to be a money master, and I'll teach you how. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We get the uh, Dow right now uh, down 55. NASDAQ's up uh, 5. You get the S&P's flat. And uh, let's see, where's gold? Gold's uh, flat also, 1726. Uh, King dollar, uh, that is at 79.39. Let's go just look at the dollar and see what we have out here. So, DXH2 currency. Okay, yeah, she's, she's rejecting that low. She, she set up beautifully. Watch out next week, folks. You got, so what she did, look at what she did. This is, this is sweet, man, for Friday. So what she did, folks, she had the 31, 36,000 contracts traded on Wednesday. Yesterday, you got to a lower low. You did it with 28, and today we come into it, and you're going to have uh, all no about volume. 20. Yeah. You're going you're to have rejection, lighter volume, and that's, that sets up, number one, go up to 82. Now, the real key is going to be, is it an ABC structure up to 89? Amen. And if it is... Watch out. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go to uh, Gary in Riverview. Hey, Gary, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you doing? We're doing great, man. You having a good day out there? I am having a good day. A little cloudy here in Florida, but... Uh, it's it's going to blow away. Yeah, we got a good storm last night, didn't we? We did. Yeah. Mm. I hope it blows away. Hey, better. We got, <laughs> we got Gasparillo tomorrow, That's folks. Right. That's right. Gasparillo in Tampa, let me tell you. You talk about... Uh, pirates are out. The, pi the pirates are out. The pirates are going to be landing, and, and watch out. If, you, if you're going to it, you better not be driving, folks. Everyone better take a cab, because Gasparillo in Tampa is like uh, St. Patrick's Day in Boston. <laughs> and I think there's even more drinking. Oh, my <laughs> I'm not kidding, man. Uh, that's great. What are we going to look at, Gary? Looking at the uh, TZA, it looks like the IWM might have come into a, bunch, a, a long supply line and hit some resistance. And... Uh, Put yeah, leverage it on the way back down. You know, it has. And, 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 you know, what we need is you need some juice on the way down. And that's what we haven't got yet. We need a seller. Yeah. You know, and, and it's, it's possible you get it, you know, 
in the next hour. And the reason I'm saying that, the, well, this is kind of neat how this is set up right now. You know, the, the IWM wants to go to 85, uh, no, 78, uh, 55 in about a heartbeat. 78, 28 to be exact. And where I'm going with that is that was the downdraft uh, on the 24th at 1330. I mean at 1530. And you can see what it did. It just spiked and it couldn't hold it. You know, so if you, if you got the selling going, um, and the IWM. And what, and what does happen with the IWM is, man, the selling comes out of nowhere. And the buying comes out of nowhere. They're both sides. But, yeah, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. there's no doubt about it. I mean, remember we were in here. I, I forget. This is about a month, two months ago, right? Yeah. And yeah. you looked and said, oh, no, what is going on? Bah, boom. Oh, they, yeah. When they, they come, come in. That's right. When these money managers unload the IWM. They, it they, sticks out. It's oh, like my it's God. Immediate. They're like, they're like the, the biggest elephants in the room, man. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. you can go. Oh, guys! You no, know, I was going to say. I mean, every everything is set up. Right. You know, there's no question. Everything is set up. Whether it's the IWM, the uh, spies, the uh, Qs. You know, they're yeah. all set up. It's just now waiting for some signal. You'd like this. Uh, you know, a great signal would be a seller. Right. Because you know, it, because it's expanded so much. Okay. Because you've got a butterfly um, uh, up, up. You know, to the uh, 1.272 butterfly. You know, you've got a lot of movement to the downside. It's retracement. Is you know, you you can you can wait. You can wait to hop on board the bus once you see that first seller, or you or you you take it now. Make sure you just have well, to yeah. If we if, if we bring place. it up right now, you could actually buy the TZA right now, and you know the last spike down was twenty one oh six. Okay, and you just turn around and say, okay, you know what? I'm not going to let it go below you know twenty one oh one, right? And you're gunning for like twenty three, <laughs> and that could happen today. So that's not a, that's not a bad trade. Must have lost them. Yes. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm taking notes, Tom. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. You okay. Know. We didn't want to so, put you in a trance. So you, you have 19 cents in the downdraft, right? You're risking 19 cents, uh, and you're going for a uh, dollar eighty today. That's a trade. Yeah. You know? Longer-term trade, you're going for 36 bucks, yeah. 39 bucks. Great. Thank you, guys. Okay, okay. man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And, uh, you know, we'll... It's all set up. It's just no, it's just, just waiting for waiting for a signal. I mean, because 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 here's the here's the deal, folks. This is at least my my take is that the opposite side because we've got everything set up like this. If this did bust off to the top side, you know, we we'd see a lot higher prices because you've got all these patterns that are in here that should be reversal patterns. So everything is setting up for reversal. So if somehow something came in and uh, and and it took off to the upside, we'd see some some. A lot higher prices. Oh, that's the, that's I, I don't think that's what we're going to no, see. No, but that's why I get the stock, right? right. I'll take Ab that. I'll take. Absolutely. I'll take twenty cents all day for absolutely. a buck eighty. All right. Uh, and a yes. few hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I was like, talking about the bigger, the bigger picture, not that small one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a Mike in North Carolina. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for taking my call. What's happening, man? How you been? I'm doing great. i uh, just. I actually, you know, I was uh, really. Uh, keyed in on that conversation that you had with Starbucks. He works at uh, Starbucks. You know, I want to. I want. Yeah, talk to me. That's right. Yeah, and yeah, you know, I wanted to talk about the uh, you know the beer and wine thing because I think that what that does for the company is it consolidates and strengthens our position as the community meeting place. Yeah, and as a social leader, right? Right. We're, we're not really. I don't, we're not really looking to to capture the Hooters crowd and and uh, to get flat screen TVs in there and turn it into a sports bar. What it is, I think it's more for uh, a place to go after dinner to have a, a glass of beer, yes. a glass of wine, and listen to jazz, and, and just continue that meeting place, uh, but more of in a uh, sort of a quiet, uh, you know, in that Starbucks kind of environment that you, the right. same thing that you experience in other parts of the day. And, you know, we're going to have, you know, like, uh, you know, Cheese, cheese plates, you know, like, yes. like high quality cheeses and things like that, uh, where, that you can enjoy with it. So, you know, I think that as far as whether or not it's going to affect the stock price, I, I you know, I, I don't know about that. But I think that one thing is for sure that it's going to sort of consolidate and strengthen that uh, community meeting place. Uh, yeah, well, you know, you know, what's wild is that one of the first ones, and I'm going all the way back to, oh my God, 75 or something, um, uh, you had bought... Uh, the, the chain out of Boston. I forget what the name it was. There was, was great coffee shops up in Boston, but you had bought the whole chain and changed them into Starbucks. And coffee Connection, I believe. Yeah, Coffee Connection. Absolutely, man. So 
Um, the one that I was familiar with a lot of them, the one in Faneuil, <laughs> Faneuil Hall, um, and then I moved, uh, well, actually, it was in Harvard Square first. But I could picture that going in Harvard Square, right, you know, they get a beautiful spot right in the corner in, yeah. in two seconds. And the reason I'm saying that is that I remember even when, if you actually go back to the beginning of the Coffee Connection or Starbucks and all that, yeah. there was a different crowd there, too. And that crowd there was right what you're talking about, meaning... Um, you know the cheese crowd. The, you know what I'm saying. So I, I, I can see, I can see that, and you know, uh, happening for sure. Yeah. Did you guys buy up on pen too? I'm sorry. Say it again. The up on pen chain. Did you buy that too? Uh, I think you I, might. I, have. I, I, yeah, yeah I, uh, I, I I didn't quite catch the name of the company. No, uh, that's the, my that's my accent. That's, uh, my French yeah, is not that good. No. <laughs> hey, but the real question, Mike. The real I'm question. On the, I'm on the I'm actually on the highway right now too, so okay. I, I don't have the best. Yeah. best the, for it. the real question that I that I know that Tom wants answered is whether or not uh, you guys are going to put uh, Zambuca <laughs> up there. That's right. Yeah. Hey, listen. I I got to tell you this story. I just told Steve this story. You, you're going to love this story. Um. What happened at Starbucks, folks, is this. So you get a picture of something. I, I literally am in Starbucks. It's the, it's the first place that I go every morning, right? And the, so, proof is, the proof is right here. The, oh, that's uh, right. I got Starbucks right in front right of me right as, I, as we're doing on Tiger <laughs> TV. So what happens is that in, in the whole downdraft, folks, okay, you know, when all these equities got killed in, in you know, 2007, 2008, um, what happens is that for the folks that have been working there for a long time, they have stock. And, and, right. and because, you know, that's a, that's a big portion of, of working there, which yeah. is dynamite. Yeah. And what happened is, I guess, Starbucks came back with a buyout, and they were changing strike prices and all of this, right? And so all the Starbucks employees, they said, Tom, well, what, what should I do? And I said, don't you even think of selling it. And, and, and where I'm going, folks, if you're watching Tiger TV, I want to show you something. What they had done, Mike, is that they had asked me that after July of '09, okay? And that's when, you know, Starbucks had hit a low of $8, $7.30, but then it came off that bottom with that huge sign of strength, right? And right. I said, I'm oh telling God, you, yeah. Starbucks, okay, this one was at 17 bucks. I said, the thing's going to 40 bucks. Yeah. So I had just said to, you know, Steve, I said, you know, I got it made down Starbucks because none of, none of them took the deal. They all kept their <laughs> stock with the strike prices, and a lot of them have worked there a long time. Do you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Absolutely. And so it, it's pretty cool, man. It's, it's, it's nice to see that, number one, that they have stock and they held on to it, and now, you know, well, you know, they take ownership in it anyway, you know? Absolutely. I, I'd feel a whole lot better if it took a little breather here, but, yeah, it's uh, definitely gone it, it, It'll take here. a breather. Yeah. And you know um, what? I, hey, listen, you know what, too? I, I know that lease. I'm going to try to buy that building down there. There you go. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally serious. I'm not kidding with you. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking Absolutely. at This is so, You know what's so funny? No, this is really, this is a crazy story, folks. So I'm down there today, and I'm looking around, right? And I'm saying to myself, you know, I really like this building, man. Yeah, they, they, they got the corner. Yeah, now, what, what happened is this. They, do. they got the lease, and the lease, they, they, the lease you guys got, you, got, you probably have the best negotiator in the world, okay? Because the guy, the, he blew his brains out in the lease. You're paying nothing, okay? But... What's going on is that I know that lease is only about another seven or eight years. I'm saying to myself, you know okay, what? Okay, okay, this okay, thing okay. is, I think it's one of your your highest grossing Starbucks around. You know? I'm so. sure, yeah. Okay, what are we going to look at? <laughs> well, you know, I had another comment about this, uh, this this fictitious bull market that we're supposedly in right now. And, you know, yeah, I think real, you know, you define that word real in your book, uh, you know, about real yes. price movement. and. If this bull market was real, we wouldn't be seeing, you know, stock, you know, former, you know, IBD type leaders like Green Mountain, Carbo Ceramics, and Netflix, and all those solar stocks, right. and all those other stocks getting crushed. I mean, they're just getting really whacked, and you know, that, that just doesn't happen in a, in, a, in a real bull market. I don't, you know, it, it, no, it doesn't. They, they, all, they, all, they all tend to start rising, not always in, in, in you know, synchronized in. in purely synchronized, but they, they, they tend to rise. They, they don't continue to That's right. bust, like, like Carbo Ceramics did yesterday on that enormous volume. That was a big leader over, over the last couple of years. Yeah, there's, and, no, um, there's, there's no doubt about it, man. There's no doubt yeah. about it. So, yeah, and cause that, you know, I, I also believe, you know, that we're heading down to, you know, I don't know, about 825, but, you know, somewhere in that definite neighborhood. We're going to retest the lows eventually here before we head higher, and I, it's coming. 
You should have heard. Um, so I'll give, I'll give you the conversation at my kitchen table this morning, right? Oh, baby. A Angie's <laughs> saying to me, you are out of your mind, you know. She says, this market's not going to eat 25, right? I love it. I love and then this come out of nowhere, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm saying, you know, I, I, I look up, right? Uh, and and I start laughing. She says, do you know how many more newsletters yourself? You're bullish. I says, you know what? I, what can I do? I says, I, I, I do what I believe, okay? You know, and, and it's really wild. I mean, it, it, because, that's that's you great. know, but that's, that's the conversation out of my house this morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you, it's hilarious, man. I, I love these shows on Friday because it's, you know, yeah, it yeah, really yeah. is. Yeah. Hey, Mike, you have a uh, safe drive, a great drive, man, and uh, we look forward to growling proud with you next week. Yeah, thank you, Sepper. Hey, if you could just, uh, I'll, I'll take it offline. But fossil, you know, that lead, that was the one stock as a short. I wanted, to, wanted to take a look at. Okay, it. let's no, let's take a look. And we get fossil. Right. It's down a buck and a half right now. They develop, distribute. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's he's going on the other side. He knows the IBDs are getting hit. There. This was an old IBD stock. Oh, okay. You want to be a little careful with this, man. It's already got hit. I mean, yeah. Can it get out of eighty-seven? Yeah, I can. But this is. You know, this is. I see. He's looking. He's looking at that big low out there. Yeah, I know. But it's it, got. It's got some work to get through. Yeah. It's not. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, well, on the weekly, it looks really good <laughs> as a shot. <laughs> but what you do have is that it, it almost looks like yeah that eighty nine to ninety. It looks like that's going to be big support. Okay. Okay, man. Have a great All one. Right, have a safe sir. one. See, here it comes. Let me tell you something, folks. If you are long, get your stops in. This market right here is going to get crushed. And the reason I'm saying it, yeah. this is this is what this is the most dangerous deal. The, what's going on with the market right now? What it is is this, folks. It starts out, you, you get a couple spikes. You know, yeah. I said at the beginning, right, right, you, right, it, right. it comes back again. You get a couple spikes again, and what happens is that it lulls people to sleep. It lulls the bulls to sleep. They, they pull them back. It takes the bears and say, Ah, oh, that's it. I'm throwing the towel. I'm going to close my positions. Yeah, so yeah, both yeah, sides yeah. of it. Yes, I'm yes, telling yes, you, man, yes, yes. this is way too early, 10:48 Eastern time, to come down like this. You know, and and it catches people off guard. You yeah, know, yeah. but the biggest rocks and biggest rolls I've seen in the marketplace is exactly this type of market. You know, little, little, little. It's a slow. It's a, you know, right? It's still slow, slow roll. Slow sure roll slow with a couple M sixties in between it. Ba boom, 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 boom. <laughs> crazy man, absolutely crazy. Let's see uh, if we get any juice on the way. Well, here, let's see that. Let's, that's the first. Go. Let's get the first see. Uh, see, that's not, that's, 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 that, that was the buy in the TZA right there. And we'll see whether they can get action on the other side. And all it's going to need, it's going to need about 1.4 million on the 10 minute chart. That's the way that's set up right now. Let's go, uh, we already, we already did that. Um, let's go to Frank and Lutz. Hey, Frank, what's going on? Tom. How you doing, man? Uh, I've listened to you guys for quite a while now. Well, we and appreciate you growling and plowing with us, man. Yeah, okay. Uh, and uh, a while ago, I came across this 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 penny stock. It was called uh, PEIX. Yes. And um, I got in it. I saw some like um, some heavy volume and some insiders. In insiders looked like they were buying at around that thirty cents mark. Okay, you just stay right there. We're going to be coming right back with you. This is uh, Steve Rhodes, sure. Tom O'Rourke, uh, Brian. We got Frank from Lutz. We're coming right back, folks. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. 
At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off? Yeah, some... I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we waited at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York stock exchanges under the symbol GBG. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. That's right. You stay right there, folks, because uh, we're going to be going up to Newton Mash next with Basil. Growl and Prowl, 11 to 12. Right back here, Nico's going to keep you healthy, 12 to 1. Then David White, 3 to 4. And I'm going to be back, uh, 4 to 6. We're talking with Frank from Lutz, and we're talking about uh, PEIX. And this is a... Uh, a bio uh, diesel uh, type of uh, deal that the stock had, had gone from three hundred dollars down to thirty cents, uh, twenty five cents. That's a, yeah, that's a, that's, <laughs> that, that's a, that's that, a trip, huh? Yeah, uh, no, no <laughs> doubt, man. Um, so y you own it, and you know, yeah, I can attest. You know, one thirty to one eighty. Yeah, I can. I mean, that's the way it's set up. You know, but this is a this is a stock that. Bottom line is that they don't have enough cash as to what they say that they're actually losing right now. I see. Because I was looking at maybe there's uh, it might get a, a run-up to like around the $2 mark. Well, the, the the highs out there of 185 absolutely can get tested. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and, I, 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 I actually I bought like 600 shares like around like 30 cents. Okay. I already sold off like half of it like at around $100, $1.40. Perfect, man. So, I'm like, so I have like, you know, I'm, you know I have like 300 no, like, free, no, that's like, that's huge. You know, yeah, I'm just I'm just like riding it from thirty cents, and so I'm I'm looking at it, it's like you know, do, will it get up there to a two dollar pop? Do it wait, you know, dollar eighty, two dollar? Will it get back to one forty or drop down? Seems to be like to me, it looks like it's holding that level around that dollar mark at this well, point. It, well, it would help if they could make money though. Yeah, oh, sure. That's, that's, that's <laughs> that, uh, well, this is what ends up happening. Okay, right now. Technically, it's operating correctly. No two ways about it. You have the acceleration off 31 cents. You get up to 185. 
You do it with good volume, 55 million, you pull back with 5 million. Yeah. I, I like seeing that, okay? Right. And since you already get your principal off the table, just, just hang there, man. Yeah. Now, the way I can tell you this, though, what, what does happen is this. You should always have a sell-in, always, 24 hours a day. Because right. this is a personality stock. See, with the day that it went to 185, it closed at 130? Right. So if your sell was in there, yeah, yeah, bang. Yeah. With, yeah. This is going to be one of these deals that, you know, they come out with a deal, and it, it spikes up, you know, you get a buck stock, and people know that there has been 300, you know, and you'll get a gap away, and, you know, you'll get your, your bread, and, you know, you just do it over again. Right. Cooking, brother. Okay, thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Uh, you know, the, NAS the NASDAQ is holding up out here, you know, and it's going to get interesting. Every time that, you know, bottom line, you get a spike in the, in the you know, S&P somewhat, uh, the composite just doesn't want to basically back off just yet. You know, now inside the NDX 100, we know, as we just said, uh, it's the dead cat bounce that, you yeah. know, basically Again, putting first, juice into yeah, it. First, first solar, Green Mountain yeah, folks yeah. are the uh, equities that are putting juice into uh, the NDX 100, you know. So, uh, yes, and as a couple of tigers are saying in there, uh, the IWM is still holding up. The small caps are still holding up. You know, but the, as we said a little bit earlier, um, the small caps are the ones that uh, can lose or gain so quick. Yeah. It's an it's a absolute heartbeat, no doubt about it. Yeah. So we've got, uh, so we've got coming up, you know, if uh, what we've got to watch for is uh, take a look at how Europe closes. You know, yeah. so we've, that's going to happen during Basel's show. So we've got another half an hour there. Then take a look at how our market closes. We've got uh, China that has been uh, closed all week. Right. Uh, Monday, we've had all these butterfly patterns up at the tops here where you've been extended. So you've got butterfly cell patterns. On uh, Monday, we've got a uh, lunar uh, phase, uh, Apogee. Which has uh, worked both perigee and apogee have worked also very well. So you just okay. got a lot of things really That's cool. lining up that just say you know, hey, stay tuned. The fireworks are going to be out there. That's that. So what what normally happens on? We have apogee or perigee. Apogee. Uh, you just simply have uh, you know whether it's a high or a low, it just simply ends up being yeah, a, right. uh, oftentimes the fuse. For, for a reversal. And when you have all these other patterns that are out there, that's when, you have, to, them up, that's baby. when you have to be the most careful is when you've got all the other price patterns lining up with a trigger. Beautiful thing. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. I'm Ann Basil Chapman's coming up next. And then Nico, David White, and myself. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Have a safe weekend, folks.